Family and friends, it's all about Uprising TV. And today we are here with one Rasta man. Yeah, man, a builder where we know from back in the days, you know. And we're still grateful to have him today. Rasta Virunga. Rasta Virunga, you can tell people your full names and uh, in detail, maybe in detail. Yeah, give thanks. Uh, I know my name, name Virunga Lava. Yes, I am. Uh, which uh, I'm a um, reggae dancehall hip hop artist in, in Kenya, you know, now representing the whole of Africa because my roots are in Rwanda. Yeah, man. That's where I was born. But I grew up here in Kenya. So, so you were born in Rwanda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, it's so amazing to also know that you're having the Rwandese, yeah. Rwandese blood in you. Yeah, so, I would really want to know, like, um, yeah. Where exactly were you born? Yeah, I was born in the capital city, Kigali, Rwanda, yes, yeah, in 1991. Mm -hmm. And because of the war, the genocide in 1994 that took place, we came as uh, refugees, people were running away from war. Mm -hmm. So I um, grew up all my life here, I've grown up in Gong, you know, Kawagware, mm -hmm. Kimera, mm -hmm. all those places. I've school here, so we give thanks for Kenya and the motherland. Yes, brother Virunga. So it's so amazing to hear that you're you're born in Rwanda in 1991. Mm. Did you say 91? Mm -hmm. And it's a blessing because uh, it's so it's so it's so it's so humbling to hear that you 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 were born at a time when Rwanda was going through genocide, mm -hmm. and you happened to be among the survivors who fled and came to Kenya. Mm -hmm. So today you're living in Kenya, like officially living in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, me knowing you was all about music and I was so much humbled to have known you back in 2007 yes. and so today it's a pleasure to have you here yes, Ras Birunga yes, okay so if I may ask Rasta uh, tell us about uh, your journey your musical journey yes sir yeah. yes sir um, as, uh, as I was saying uh, growing up in Kenya was not easy especially being a refugee so that brought me towards uh, trying to see a change, a difference in the society and the way things are. Yeah. So that drove me towards Rastafari, yeah. you know, and Rastafari drove me towards music, which is really music, yeah. conscious music, yeah. revolutionary music, yeah. like hearing the likes of Peter Tosh, you know, and Mickey Dread, you know, come on African soldiers, come on. I was inspired, you know, to rise up for Africa, I could stand for truth and right. Mm -hmm. you know, so my music started back when I was a young kid, you know, when I was feeling that I also have to do this thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. So I started writing poems back in primary school mm -hmm. and slowly that's how I came into the music. Yeah, you've had family and friends the journey of Ras Lava Virunga. So Rasta, like I have said that it started all, uh, it's your musical journey has, has been hectic. You've been through struggles and here we are having you as a fully established artist, that's according to my own understanding. And um, you, you, you've mentioned names like Peter Martin Tosh and they are the very influential reggae artists from Jamaica. So does it mean that your influence is so much attached to the Jamaican culture and, and, and way, of, way of life? Uh, my influence is attached, of course, <coughs> to the Jamaican culture in the sense of revolution or Rastafari movement, you mm. understand, because that is the Africanness in, in the Jamaica. When the people, not only in Jamaica, but why out of I, Africa, you know, when they, when they think about their roots, mm. or that's how Rastafari came to me, when black people abroad, the prophecy of Marcus Navi, look unto Africa. You understand? Yeah. That's how this came to me. So I too had to get that inspiration yeah. from abroad. You know, people like Mark, Honorable Marcus Navi yeah. shall forever be honored. Yeah. You know, for their contribution towards awareness yeah. of oneself as a black person. Yeah. 
So my influence has not only come from Jamaica, but also from Africa. And great leaders like Kwame Kuruma, yes, Thomas Sankara, Robert Mugabe, reading the history of Africa. That's how I'm, I mean, that's what makes up my music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Rasta man, I'm so humble at the same time to to have a, to have this knowledge of, of understanding that uh, you having you having a wider knowledge of our African forefathers, people who are there before us, and people who have done great things. To ensure that they influence us in a very positive way so ras veronga for whoever is watching us like right now what would you actually tell them about uh, your, your, your music what kind of message does it pass out there and for and if i may ask that uh, how has your inf how, how, how has your music influenced the society that you're living in well in, the, in my music i try to mostly it's about my life you know who I am, a black man in Africa in this time. I try to speak about what I've been through or what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. You know, the kind of challenges that I face as a young youth mm -hmm. in Africa growing up. That is what makes up my music, sure. you know. Sure. So, my, like, like the people should expect, you know, the real story from the ground. Yeah, yeah man, that's what I'm all about. Yeah. So it's all about, it's all about foundation. We sometimes call it groundation for whoever is watching because I've realized that Rasta Virunga has a wider knowledge of who he actually is, his roots and culture and, and, and things like that. And um, we are here today to talk about his journey, that is his, his life, that is before music and, and, and definitely right now that he's doing music is, um, is one of his ways of trying to pass some positive message to the people out there. Like um, Ras Virunga, if I may ask, um, what are your targets? What are your targets? What do you plan with your music in the near future? <coughs> so, I'm so um, <coughs> let me let me take this opportunity in order just to answer your question well, you know, to define my name, you know. Virunga is a chain of eight volcanic mountains uh, through the countries Rwanda, Congo, and Uganda. And I found this name when I was looking when I was doing research about my roots, mm -hmm. and I found that that's where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. And the word lava means the content of the volcano yeah. when it spins out. Yeah. Yeah. And as we all know right now, Mount Nyerangongo erupted Definitely. just a few the other days day. ago, the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm all about. Mm -hmm. I'm about the eruption. Mm -hmm. I'm about nature. I'm about the power of truth and right. It cannot be stopped. Mm -hmm. You know, it can never be stopped. You know, nature is above everything. Definitely. You know, even if we, we as human beings try to destroy it so much, we are only destroying ourselves. We are not destroying nature. Mm -hmm. You know. So my target is to come like a, a volcano, mm -hmm. fire mm -hmm. spitting and burning all wickedness in any place. Yeah, man. <laughs> you can see that right now we're having this interview, and then just a couple of days, the other day, um. Uh, there was an eruption, a volcanic eruption, and you can see my brother's name, musical name is Virunga Lava, and he's told you the, uh, the, the real meaning of Virunga and Lava at the same time, meaning that uh, when nature takes control, you can't, you can't uh, get, uh, you can't get on its way, uh, it's because uh, definitely you can't get in its way because it's it's godly and it's so powerful. It's because it comes from the higher power. So it means that uh, Virunga Lava, uh, your message or your, the type of music. It's full of punch and, and, and straightness and it's spiritual at the same time. Because you've mentioned the name being Virunga Lava and you've seen whatever Lava has done just the other day in Congo. So I, I can see uh, the attachment of your name and your roots. It's all fully connected, very much assembling. Uh, Rasta Virunga, we are actually here to get to understand uh, why you do not only pick on music, but you also chose to be this Rasta youth. Mm. Well, it is a journey. Rastafari is a journey of self-awareness, self-consciousness, and self-knowledge. So, as a young youth, you know, I could see that many things are not right. My own life, you know, like, and even the life around me, walking in the streets of Nairobi and looking at street children and wondering why this has to be, you know, so, it brought me to, you know, the concept of Rastafari. 
which is the concept of African roots before the white man came to Africa. How we used to be, we used to be free, freedom of mind, freedom of thinking. So Rastafari is all about freedom of thinking and being free, you understand, and connecting with nature, which the system is trying so hard to fight. You know, for example, the dreadlocks is a way to connect with nature. You know, exactly. That's uh, exactly that's what I wanted to ask you, Rasta. Uh, when, for someone who doesn't understand why you're having your locks, because um, there's I'm so much aware, people out here are having locks, dreadlocks, but they can they can flash it out. Why do you have people who can have the dreadlocks and they flash it out? And then why do you have uh, another group of uh, rasters who keep it in a tavern, always in a tavern? For whoever doesn't understand, try to give them um, a reason. Uh, try to give them. Try try to teach them about um, this liberty of rasta. Talking about uh, turban, why tie turban and then the other person doesn't have turban but he has uh, dreadlocks? <coughs> yeah, man, I wouldn't say there's much, mis I, wouldn't, I wouldn't discriminate against the Rasta who don't tie turban or even the non Rasta who don't even have no dreadlocks because it is a journey. It's a journey of consciousness, <coughs> you know? So the consciousness also has levels, you know, different levels of consciousness. So it doesn't really mean that I'm better because I, I try the time, but it's just a different frequency and a different vibration. Which dreadlocks by themselves, with or without the turban, is connection to the universe. Everything grows in a spiral. From the leaves, you know, everything, even the wind when it's blowing, there is the spiral, even your fingerprints. And spiral. So spiral is 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 is, uh, is golden and it's sacred. So the hair is when the hair grows, it gives you a connection, you know, to a higher frequency. Your meditation, you can connect with yourself more deeply, you know, because um, you are in your godly self, you know that your natural self. It definitely means that you are in your original self. Yeah. Um, when, 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 for whoever doesn't understand, uh, Ras Virunga maybe tries to uh, elaborate and try to make you understand that it doesn't really matter whether you're having trade logs or not. What matters is what comes from within. And that point of self-realization is what makes Virunga stand from the rest and try to, uh, uh, do not, not really try and keep the logs and uh, uh, decide to live in this Rastafari kind of living. So back to music, Ras Virunga. Mm -hmm. Uh, what are your projects so far? What what are your music like? Uh, if your fans out there would really want to get familiar with your music. Would you actually give them the names of uh, your music that is officially out? So this musical journey, I mean, in this musical journey for about ten years, and I've uh, had my ups and downs. I've had some times I was not singing for about four years because of some uh, issues I had in my throat. But I released my EP last year. It's called Pass Me The Mind. You can get it on my YouTube channel, The Runga Lava. Pass Me The Mind EP. And uh, I have uh, I have also projects that, I'm, that I've done, like some videos, yeah, and collabs also. Yeah. OK, I would really want you to Give them the names and titles of your uh, song, the release song. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, man. yeah, give them the names and where they can actually find it. You say that it's YouTube. Yeah, you YouTube. should find it on uh, YouTube at Virunga, yeah. Vir Virunga Lava. You can go to YouTube and check uh, Virunga Lava uh, and, 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 and subscribe and support his music because he has plenty of tunes and, 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 and positive vibe right there. So, so Rasta Virunga, we're back here again. And I would really want to juggle between music and lifestyle. Because um, it's been it's been it's been a while since the last time we met, and, and I would really say that we also give thanks because the most I have also, also been, been so so you know so um, supportive in my life because um, we realize that most youths don't actually stick to consciousness. And what would you actually tell any youth who's out say there and is so much into crime? Um, and does things that actually would really make this person lose life. What would you actually tell the youth something there to, 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 to make sure that you motivate them? Mm. Well, as you know, 
<laughs> well, first of all, we want to bring up all rebellious suit out there, you know. So rebellion is a good thing. In this time when the system, it's a guanso. And the system not right, you know. Yeah, man. But you have to be a rebel with a cause. You just can't be a rebel without no cause. You just can't go and take off your gun and start shoot out everybody killing young and old. You must be a rebel with a cause. So that means that you must know yourself. Everyone out there, you must know yourself. All the sisters, all the brethren, all the young youth who are coming up. Number one duty is to know yourself. You know. You must know yourself, know where you're coming from. Because a tree, um, 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 anybody without a knowledge of where they're coming from, is like a tree without truth, Marcus Garvey says. So, the first step in this journey, or in the journey of awakening, is to know yourself, know where you're coming from. You know, and that will give you the motivation to move forward because you are great. Every black person is great. Every black man and woman is a black king and queen, you know. But we would love to tell the people them to open up their eyes and not get caught in any system, you know. Like the education doesn't really prepare us for what we really ought to do in this earth, you know. Like we have a responsibility to carry out that we are not prepared. So everybody has to really live, live down inside themselves. Yeah. Yes, man. It's a blessing having Ras Virunga here. And as you can see, family and friends, we are getting more than music. We are getting actually more education about who we really are as black people. So it's black empowerment. And I've realized that uh, this Rasta youth talks more about black empowerment and black sensitization. Like he has told youths to stay away from crime. It doesn't mean that you being rebellious means that you have to be violent and do all that kind of thing. Being rebellious, according to Ras Virunga, means being, uh, having, being a rebel with a purpose. When you are rebel with a purpose, it means that you stick. On, you stay on the positive side always. So I realized that uh, Rasta Virunga advocates for uh, straightness, advocates for peace, love, and unity, and also advocates for black empowerment. It doesn't segregate anyone. It's all about trying to actually tell who we are as black people. And I'm so much happy to have Rasta Virunga giving me so much definition about who we actually are and black empowerment. So, brother Virunga, for whoever is watching outside there, I would, re would really want to hear a piece of your music. I would, uh, I would request that you you do some little music for them so that they can hear your voice out. Yes, sir. With thanks, you know. This goes out to all the colonial settlers, you know, who are coming to Milan and the Noah Ling, you know, no, say, big up Robert Mugabe. You see me? Colonial settler. You a rough player, always war ramping a mint on all affair. South Africa, Robert Mugabe, him there. Man says still draws and miss loot on him lay. White settler boy fair, well, well fair. Out of Milan, long time you are near. Out with the black souls, still got the fear. Fist stand up strong and openly declare. Have been your slaves over 400 years. Under your yoke, only blood, sweat, and tears. Fire burn you now. No longer shall we bear you, manga parasite. No longer shall we rear. Yes, I <laughs> Yes, man, family and friends. Remember, it's Surprising TV. And I'm so much humbled to have Rasta youth here talking about black empowerment and all black upliftment. And you've heard that he has a powerful voice. A voice that speaks for the people who are voiceful and others also who are plenty and they are voiceless. So remember, it's all about Uprising TV. Go down there and subscribe and support. Remember to go to YouTube and support Lava Virunga's music. Go to his YouTube channel and so to subscribe. Give them your subscription. Uh, yes, sir. Virunga Lava on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And we would love to say, so big up Uprising TV. You don't know, say, this are the future. Big up Majero Fire Starter, Band the Fire Red the Hatter. Yes, sir. <laughs>
Fire you find that the fire is red and hot at the same time. Yeah, man, it's I, man, myself, man, Jero Firestarter, representing for Uprising TV. Pick up yourself. Yes, I, brother. You saw my chambling. Blessed love. Yes, I, family, fr family and friends, don't forget to go and subscribe to Virunga Lava on YouTube. Support the youth, yes, sir. Because this is the future of reggae music. Conscious reggae music is all about upliftment and empowerment. Subscribe to this channel and support this Rasta youth. It's a blessing to have you, family and friends. Manjero Fire Starter says so. Bless you. Uprising, uprising. Uprising TV always.